So writing questions as multiple choice questions um, is a really powerful way to, to give the students some practice or to assess the kids on their knowledge. The problem is that um, by the time um, you pick the question, you end up filling out a lot of different boxes, right? So like if I wanted to add a question here and multiple choice, um, it's going to ask me to type the question here and then down here type the answer and mark the right answer. And although that's kind of a nice way to do it because you get access to some of the other tools, if you're trying to type a lot of questions into Moodle, um, all of the switching boxes and typing choice one, choice two uh, can sometimes be slow. Uh, luckily, there's a way to write a question in much more human speak and then let Moodle change it into its type of question. And it's called an Aiken format question. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to a text editor. Um, I just use Notepad. The WordPad would do it too. I'm not sure if uh, Microsoft Word could do it, probably, but I'm not. I haven't tested it. Anyways, these are the three requirements for an Aiken uh, question, or this is the format that you take. You start by just asking the question. So this is your question text. Um, you can put anything you want on this line. The choices can either be A period, B period, C period, D period you know, or E, F, G. You can have as many or as few as you want, but it has to be a capital letter followed by period, followed by space. Okay, so it'll accept this because it's capital letter, period, space, and then the answers. Or you can do capital letter and then this uh, bracket. Um, no capital letter, period. So it wouldn't accept this format. Um, so you could either do A period or A bracket. And then there has to be a space after either the period or the bracket. You ask, you give your answers. So you give your A, B, C, D, E, F. And then you type all in capital letters, answer, semicolon, space, and then the capital letter that refers to the right one. Okay, so I could type out the question just like this, um, which you probably in old tests or whatever have something pretty similar. So as long as the formatting is exact, and that's the part that makes it a little bit tricky. Um, if I just do answer without a space, that's not going to work. Or if I do answer and then lowercase a, that's not going to work. It has to be um, just like this format or just like this format. Okay. Then you go to save it, and you say save as, and you're just going to save it as a TXT file. So I'll call this uh, test txt and I'm going to save it okay so this can have my 50 questions uh, it can have as many questions as I want and um, I can write my test in that format okay so then when I go to my Moodle page instead of adding a question this way so I'm going to go back um, to my course what you're going to actually do is you're going to stuff the question bank so I'm going to go down here under administration and uh, this may be uh, moved over for you. So if it's like this, you got to undock it by, by doing that. And if you go down here to question bank and hit the arrow, you'll see one of the buttons is import. When you import, what you're going to do is you're going to say, I have an Aiken format question for you. And then you're going to pick the text file um, that you just saved. So I'm going to go onto my desktop. And I'm going to go down to test. Okay, and so there's my uh, my file, and I upload it. Okay, and then I say import. What it's going to do is it's going to give me these two questions. I can continue. Okay, and notice that in my question bank, I've got two new questions. How does Juliet kill herself, and who kills Mercutio? If I go into the... Um, previews, you'll see it looks exactly like uh, a multiple choice, right? Um, so it's like it fixed it to be the kind of question that uh, Moodle likes. It put them in the right boxes and everything. So now when I'm writing my quiz, because this is in my question bank, okay, I go back to my course, I create this new quiz, okay, so I'm going to edit the quiz, 
And when I go to uh, add questions, instead of adding a question this way, I click on the questions that I want. Okay, so I put these two questions in. I could pick a bunch of these, right? Um, and then it says, with these selected, add to the quiz. And what we'll see is that these four that I just selected got put as these four questions. So that's the idea. Once they're on this way, too, then you can do stuff um, like you can edit uh, feedback. So you could say, poison, no. Uh, remember, this is how Romeo dies. And I can go down here, and I can say for multiple tries, give this a 50% deduction, and so on. So even though you can't change all that in the Aiken format, you can change, you can write the questions in the Aiken format, and then you can um, edit them just like you would put them in originally. Okay, so that's a way of getting quiz questions in that you write in more of a old school type of way.